What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Idaho Rifleman. Today we are going to do another ballistic comparison of 300 Blackout this time. Uh, you guys really enjoyed the video last week of the 32 Magnum 2 inch and 4 inch barrels. So we're going to do it again this week with 300 Blackout. Uh, we've got a 7.5 inch barrel and a 16 inch barrel. Uh, a buddy of mine was uh, kind enough to come out here today and bring his guns for us to, uh, to show off and demo here. So we'll uh, head over there and we'll put them to the test. We've got 32 inches of ballistic gel. Unfortunately, the only ammo we had and were able to get a hold of for today's test is a Remington hypersonic open tip. It is not truly a hollow point, but it's the closest we could find today. So uh, we're gonna run with it and see what happens. Let's head over to the range and get started. All right guys, I put the disclaimer up at the beginning of the video. I don't think we need it, but with all the controversy around AR pistols right now, I thought it'd be better to be safe than sorry here on YouTube. So again, these are my buddy's guns. He is here on site. Um, just we're not gonna show who he is for his privacy. So both of these firearms are legal. They are registered. They are NFA compliant. So I just want to get that out there and out of the way for the YouTube employee reviewing this. All right, we're loaded up. We've got a 300 blackout 16 inch barrel. It does have the linear compensator on the front to direct all those gases forward. Um, it's a pretty nice rifle overall. I know I said I wouldn't say who you are, but I'm gonna roast you just a little bit. Uh, it's got the typical A2 grip on it, which I don't prefer, but that's some people's preferences. It's got a very nice ambidextrous charging handle on it but a uh, fairly budget-friendly uh, minimalist stock on it. So uh, it's a pretty nice rifle overall. This is a little, little cheaper. I'd be curious to see how it, uh, how it lasts, but charging handle's nice. All right, five yards. We're going to uh, see what this round does. Now we've got the seven and a half inch AR pistol with iron sights. So our first shot, the 300 Blackout Rifle, 16 inch barrel, had a good wound channel, a lot of energy dump right here, and then it actually came through and deviated up and out. So we went through 16 and then about 4 inches more, so 20 inches total and deviated out the side, went out into the snow somewhere. The AR pistol with the 7.5 inch barrel. had just very, very little, here we go, just a little bit of energy dump. I don't know if you can see it right there or not. Very little, and then it deviated out the bottom of the table. And then I went ahead and took one more shot with the 16 inch barrel just to see if we got a different result. And we did, just a little bit. We skimmed the bottom of the table Dumped some energy right here at the end of the block. Carried all the way through. And then went out the bottom of the gel right here. So, not the best results, but also not the best round for this either. So we'll do this test again uh, when we get some better ammo. We are getting really close to that thousand subscriber mark here on YouTube. And uh, as I've told you guys before, as soon as we hit that, We'll put up a poll for your choice of the next firearm we get for the channel here. Uh, it'll be a top three, maybe top five, under 350 bucks, but uh, you guys will have the choice of what we get. So be sure to stick around for that, share the video, and uh, 
let's try to push that last little bit. I think we're less than 50 subscribers to go. Well, guys, that's going to wrap up this week's episode of Idaho Rifleman. I hope you enjoyed it. It was definitely interesting. Um, and it goes to show you that open tip rounds are not the same as jack and hollow points. So, a um, little unpredictable. I wish it would have been a little bit better test, but we'll do it again here in the future and uh, try to get some proper ammunition. Uh, we'll see if we can get these guns back on the channel one more time. At least one more. I'm buying the ammo suit. Shouldn't be an issue. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, be sure to uh, share this video and check out Idaho Rifleman on Facebook and Instagram as well. As always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Take care, stay safe, and God bless. We'll see you next time here on Idaho Rifleman. You guys, just one final note for you here. I roasted my buddy in good fun. He's a good sport about it, and uh, it's what we do. That's how we uh, interact with each other. But I think it's important to note, too, that it doesn't matter if you're on a budget or if you can spend anything on any amount of uh, tactical equipment. If all you can afford is the $17 Lakota minimalist stock, that's great. If you spring for the $50 Magpul MOE uh, tactical stocks, then that's great. Um, if you spend more than that, just remember that what you're buying, um, you can either just use it to get started and then upgrade later, or you can save up and go all out with it. It doesn't really matter as long as your training with it. Um, ultimately, whether you're target shooting um, or if you're planning on using your rifles for self-defense, it comes down to purpose, cost, and training. Um, if you are law enforcement and you buy a cheap stock, it might not be the best thing because that gear literally could save your life. And if it fails in the wrong moment, it could cost you your life. So maybe buying the $17 stock isn't the best option for you. Or if you go to the range once a month and dump a mag and that's all you do, maybe you can get away with it. But evaluate your situation, your purpose, your task, your mission, and go from there and make the decisions based on what you're able to do. Um, people say firearms are an investment. I 100% believe that. And they are a guaranteed right in our Constitution, Second Amendment. Um, and that's not objective, that's not fluid, that is an absolute. It was written as an absolute, it always will be an absolute. So, guys, I think that's just an important note to remember, and I wanted to be sure to include it at the end of the video here. God bless you guys, we'll see you uh, here on the channel again soon. Cold out here. My eyes are burning.